Raise your hand if you can think, uh, think of something symmetric in nature. Give me an example. Oh. <laughs> Butterflies are symmetric. What else? Leaves are symmetric. I'm kind of symmetric. Well, I should have brushed my hair before I said that. But <laughs> symmetries are interesting. Uh, in fact, a lot of fundamental laws of physics were discovered by just, uh, by just considering the symmetries of the system. But can you think of something that is not symmetric, but you expect it to be symmetric? Let me give you an example of what I mean by that. Uh, suppose that you have a, a fair coin, you, you keep uh, flipping it many, many, many times. By symmetry, you expect to get uh, half the times uh, heads and half the time tails. But what if uh, you keep flipping the coins and you keep getting tails? That would be interesting. That's an example of something that you expect it to be symmetric, but it's not. But can you find something like that in nature? I'm going to give you an example. When you start learning chemistry, uh, you start by learning about uh, simple molecules like uh, water, carbon dioxide, nitrogen. These are all uh, uh, molecules that have something in common. Uh, it's a symmetry called reflection symmetry. If you look at the mirror image, it's exactly the same thing. But when you start learning about more and more complex molecules, there are these uh, complex molecules whose mirror image is different from the molecule itself. It's another molecule. It's like your left hand. It's mirror image of your right hand. They kind of look the same, but they're not the same thing. You can't tell which one is which. So where can you find molecules like this? Everywhere that there is life, every living organism has lots of asymmetric molecules in it. If you've ever seen a picture of a DNA molecule, uh, it has this helical structure, and uh, the, uh, it winds in a certain direction. The reason that it goes in a certain direction is uh, these trigger molecules on the backbone of DNA molecule that have a certain directionality. They're all right-handed. At the uh, beginning of the, uh, when life was forming on our planet, uh, these complex molecules started forming from uh, simple asymmetric molecules. And uh, the same way that you expect a, a coin uh, flip 50% of the time, uh, heads and 50% tails, you expect to get half, uh, almost half the times uh, left-handed molecules and half the times right-handed molecules. But now you look at the nature, and you see all the living organisms have right-handed sugars. So uh, this uh, properties of living organisms called homochorality, which means same-handedness, and this is what I study. Thank you.